Hello everyone, welcome to the channel today. This is NJ Kelly Garner saying thank you for watching. Here in front of you is our Moringa tree. This is a great tree to have in your garden if you don't have it now. The thing is, this is like a subtropic to a tropical tree. Um, and it is quite uh, well known. It is, it is a lot of people want this tree. Um, in their uh, growing zone, in their climate. However, it doesn't do well in everyone's climate. But that being said, I am growing mine in a container. A lot of people grow theirs in the ground. I am growing mine in the containers. And it does well. Certain varieties does well in containers. You can grow this in a container. You can grow them in a raised bed. You can grow it in the ground, like I said before. And I transplanted this from a three gallon recently to a 15 gallon container as you see here okay but the issue with my uh moringa tree that it went to shock heavily uh just because you know you transplant it or just because it's love heat doesn't mean it's not gonna go into shock well it took about three weeks for this thing to grow back we are in we we are in the second week of august i believe and i transplanted it and was like forget it placed it in the recovery area and shady area knowing that it loves for the sun watering it the thing was like complete like that like it was like it was just in shock it wouldn't like stand up straight none of that you know but I got so I can I, I believe I got frustrated and we all get frustrated in the garden you know we all get burned out we all get tired you know a lot of things that's going on in our personal lives and I said I thought about something I did last year about just cutting it back and when I cut it back my 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 thought was cut it back it will you, you know already it will grow back within the spring summer months of 2020 so when you in my area. It gets about, in the fall, most of the time, it gets to that 40 degrees, 30 degrees. You know what I mean? So, I already know it's like an annual in my area. So, my mind is saying, basically, you know, just prune it back. I did that. Last week, and mind you, the only thing I was basically giving this thing was water. Um, I was still watering it um, uh, when I watered my garden twice a week or three times a week during our heat wave and all that, et cetera. So, I, I, you know, I'm walking last week. I believe, I believe it was August the 1st on a Wednesday or July 31st on a Wednesday. Not sure the, the exact date. If you look back in the comments, you'll see. I literally was walking in the morning, you know, in the garden, trying to, you know, uh, make some new decisions about my fall winter garden. I happened to look down, and this is what I saw. And it was a small, it was smaller than this one right here, actually. Not like this one right here, you see. But both of them were very, very small. Tiny. And I ran in the house and I told my wife, I said, honey, you know, remember that miracle tree I cut down? Like I told her about it, I pruned it, you know what I mean? Because it was dead. I said it was dead. You know, I told her what was going on. She was like, yeah, well, it grew back. She said, what? I said, yeah, it grew back. And the only thing I was doing was watering it when I watered the, um, the garden. Mind you, it was nothing but mulch here. And you can see, let me just get you guys a look. You can see where I pruned it. You see that little that little stem right there that's standing up next to it? That one right there. And I'm going to let you guys see the one right here. Uh, I think you can see it right there. Just sticking up right there. Those two little things sticking up. That's where I pruned it back heavily. And this is what you get. Now, when I did fertilize, I used my seaweed extract on this container with the Moringa. That O'Neill we just been taking care of recently. And I also, the following week, I used fish fertilizer. But seaweed extract um, is the only thing from Netsum Harvest. It's the only thing I have used, basically, to because I know it needs uh, the that uh, nitrogen to grow leaf growth. So that's what I used. But, guys, don't give up. Don't give up on anything in your garden. Yes, this year was a hard year for everyone. If you're a new gardener, if you're a master gardener, it doesn't matter. If you just, you know, hold on and continue to believe in what you're doing 
and that's with anything in life, you will see great results. Don't give up. That's even in life. You know, you can make a difference no matter what you do. We, you have to rebuke the spirits of depression, oppression, frustration, worry, anxiety out of your life. Because sometimes, even in the garden, things happen. And you're going to see some crazy things. Our weather out here around the United States and the world has been bipolar. And we, you know, you there have been hurricanes, tornadoes. You know, and all these different things going on in different states that never happened before. You know, so at the end of the day, we all are learning. So things that we couldn't grow in a certain state and city, we can now grow. Things that we we was growing for a long time, we can't grow anymore because the, the, the climate has changed. There has been a shift in the earth. And we have to just, you know, learn new techniques and that's with anything in life i gotta go y'all but this is nj Kelly garden saying thank you for watching thank you to all my new subscribers who are family you are now family and with the ones that who has been on my channel for the longest i thank you for watching i thank you for being a part and again i need you guys to hit that notification bell because when you hit that notification bell you will get information on how to grow in containers and so on. Thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and thank you for your comments. Don't give up because you already are destined for greatness. There is greatness inside of you.